And there it is signed by the DA and stamped showing they lost the case. And they lost it and you they paid And I, I sued them. And what did you win? $250,000 for a night in jail. I don't go anywhere without this. This is my traffic book right here. And if you read down below, public no, uh, public servant officer, it pretty much says to him, when a cop pulls me over, you're losing potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> but when a cop pulls me over, the first thing I do is I ask him, what's your emergency and how may I assist you? And he's going he's to ask for my driver's license and insurance or whatever. And I said, well, before we go there, I need you to fill this out. And I take that sheet of paper out of there and hand it to him. Before we can go any further, you need to fill this out. Once he reads this, it already puts him on notice that I'm not playing games with him. And then you open up the book. And that is so pointy. And here's the case I won against Harris County. Harris County, I always take my name out because I'm not going to give my name until you can give me uh, what's called, and police always call it, it's RAS. What's your RAS? And the, they automatically assume I'm a cop because I'm using their lingo. And what RAS stands for, reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime. Okay? You don't have that? Okay, what's your SAF? Single articulable fact. Well, you don't have that either? Okay, you, you, you've you just basically said that there's no reason to pull me over because you haven't seen a crime. Okay, here's the case I won against Harris County. You can see the stamps and date. And uh, they ended up buying me a, a, a brand new Porsche 911 turbo all-wheel drive convertible uh, with them pulling me over and letting me spend a night in jail. So and here's the lawsuit, and uh, I've got these for everybody to see. And you can see that it's all put together. And there it is signed by the DA and stamped showing they lost the case. And they lost it and you they paid And I, I sued them. And what did you win? $250,000 for a night in jail. And then Supreme Court says no license necessary to drive an automobile on public highways. Now these these are all documented. So what this is called is called stare decisis, okay? We're running a case that's already been won in the Supreme Court, and they're in violation of their oath of office when they don't pay attention. My license plate doesn't give you, if you look at my license plate, the license plate alone says I'm not in commerce. Now, if I have a license plate like this car over here and that car over there, they all have license plates. License plates mean I'm engaged in commerce. I'm not engaged in commerce. This doesn't give them the authority to pull me over because they see that. What do you, where do you see that I'm engaged in commerce? What gave you that uh, suspicion that I'm engaged in commerce? You have the right to travel freely unencumbered. And that's all in the law. And we look at the law books, Supreme Court has already ruled on this. And you go back to what is a license? And I want people to do their own homework. Go read the case of Murdoch versus Pennsylvania. Or read the case of, uh, what is it, uh, Shuttlesworth versus uh, the city of Birmingham, Alabama. These are showing that you don't need a license. A license is to do something that is immoral, that's sanctioned by the government. Like a 007, license to kill, okay? That's immoral. They need to be licensed by the state. In other words, they're protected by the state on that. There's nothing immoral about leaving my house to go get a gallon of milk. I only need a license if I'm using the public property. The roadways are public, and they're paid for by the gas tax, okay? They're not paid for by traffic violations. So when you get into the law, this is what scares most cops, and I'm going to get to it here if I, the wind would stop for one second. This is what most cops don't like because they don't know it. It's non-emergency use of emergency vehicle lights and sirens is a felony. Pulling me over for a traffic violation, they just committed a felony. And if they don't have reasonable suspicion that I'm engaged in commerce, they're done. And I'll bring out my brothers. I'm going to put this away real quick. I'm going to bring State out. Trooper. This was his book that he had in his car. Okay, Texas Criminal and Traffic Law Manual. 
I went to his car and I made him read this. And you're going to love this. This is out of their own law books. This is the LexisNexis. And it says under Section 502.003, registration by political subdivision prohibited, except as provided by subsection B. A political subdivision, a political subdivision of this state may not be not require an owner of a motor vehicle to register the vehicle, pay a motor, motor vehicle registration fee, or pay occupational tax or license fee in the connection with the motor vehicle. This section does not affect the authority of a municipality to, right here, license and regulate the use of a motor vehicle for compensation. So if I'm not engaged in conversation, compensation, being paid to go from point A to point B, I don't need a driver's license. I don't, don't need to register my automobile. What and it is an automobile. Massachusetts? All traffic codes are pretty similar because they're all federal. They're pretty much the is same. Is that copy of Massachusetts yeah. it's gonna, you can online? Find, you can find it. And I will tell you, you go to um, uh, like Amazon or eBay and buy a used one. My brother had to pay $300 for this book. Okay. <clears throat> and then you look at it here. Imposed a permit fee or street rental charge for the operation of each motor vehicle, okay, used to transport passengers for compensation. So who needs a driver's license? A taxi driver? You anybody that's anybody anybody that's engaged in making money using the public 